Alright, welcome, welcome, Construct2 developers, and today I'm going to give you a little tip on how to create animated GIFs of your games. So, what we're going to be using is a really, really handy program called GIFCAM. I'm going to be providing you the official link in the description so you can download it for yourself. So, the first step into making sure this is going to be a net result in a nice, smooth game recording is we're going to click 33 FPS. This will give us a nice, smooth finish. Um, by default, it's also set to not capture the cursor, so if you move it around in the recording area of GIFCAM, it won't capture it. We can also do a full screen if we want, but we don't need that. So that's done. And then what we're going to do is in our auto runner, we want to make sure that full screen and browser is off. That's because we want this in its natural resolution, so we don't stretch anything, we don't cut out anything, we don't distort the image when it's finished recording. And so all you really need to do is, you can also, well, let me just say, you can also export it to Node WebKit if you'd like the additional options provided in the desktop export for, say, Windows, if you want to record it from an executable. That also works just as well, but for all intents and purposes, we really just need to run the layout here. All right, cool. So we've got our game right here. We're going to go into GIF Cam and kind of size this to the game by hand. Unfortunately, there's no automatic setting to do this, but you know, it's not a big deal. So we're just going to do this, we're going to make sure, da, da, da. all right, cool. And once this guy is about dead, I'm going to, that's when I'm going to hit the record so we can make it look like it's a whole new game. All right, so we're going to make it look like we're playing here, show your potential players what this game is all about. All right, we're going to rack up a good score here and pretend to die. Oh no, oh no. So we're going to stop it there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and actually, sorry, before I do that, we're actually going to go to edit, now that I remember. Because as you saw, I actually started the recording right before the character fell into the pit. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we actually edit this out. So we're going to delete this frame. And it might take a little while to remove frames. All right, and here is the approximate beginning. And we don't need to worry about the end, you know, near death of the character. We actually could have recorded it all the way until the restart to make the GIF look, you know, nicely looped. So once we're done, we're just gonna click the X. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit save. We're gonna save this to the desktop. We're gonna call this Auto Runner Preview. We're gonna hit the save. It's gonna take a little while. All right, then once we see that the progress bar is gone, I'm going to show you guys the preview. All right, and here it is. Look at that in all its giffy glory. And I'd say that worked out pretty well. You also want to make sure that hopefully your game is running at a higher frame rate than what you're actually recording and that your computer can handle that. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, learned something new about how to create, you know, GIFs for your games.